Look around you. There's wood all around you, and the trees, and bushes, and your backyard. We're gonna show you how to turn that wood into money. That's right, carve your own dollar signs. You ever wonder how to whittle some wood? Well, we're gonna show wonder, you a couple tips. Wonder no more, we're gonna show you a couple tips. Here we go. All right, we have um, some stump things. We're, I'm gonna make a head on mine, so it'll be like a play toy. Um, right now it's a little unsafe, it's kind of raspy and um, sharp edges. And we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna take care of that. We have our tools here, tools of the trade, um, exacto whittling and wood carving tools. Oh, no, I'm not using that. You probably want this one, but I already got it. All right, now Seems I got like this one. Rounded edges. Uh, so this is a lot of fun. It can be fun, but you also have to be aware it can be dangerous. So you have yep. to always carve away from you. It's kind of tip number one. Yeah. And go with the grain. It's easier if you whittle with the grain. Against the grain, it's a little, a little harder. If you hold it up against your body too, that gives you a little bit of. Uh... All right, we're using cedar wood. Cedar is universally known as the best carving wood. Um, holds its form well, has a lot of knots that give it a lot of character. Be careful, dude, careful. Getting Trying to smooth crazy. this out because it is really choppy right getting now. Crazy. getting crazy over there. All right, I'm gonna have to go against the grain a little just to kind of clean these edges up. It's actually not working as well as I thought it was gonna work. Maybe cedar is not the best wood to use. Maybe there's a softer wood like balsa or pine might work better all right i'm gonna switch out to a different tool and i'm just kind of making a face kind of keeping it fun kind of keeping it lighthearted. how's yours going dude make the eye holes keeping it fun keeping it lighthearted. i'm just having fun with it i didn't even draw anything out i'm just kind of Freehanding, air carving, uh, a design here. Oh, just broke the blade. <laughs> Dry, okay. What's this one for, Chris? Right. Now this one's got a cool little shape to it. If you want to zoom in real quick to this. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, all right. All right. Get some safety glasses on. Yeah, might want to. So, Blades are flying yeah, here. Before, so before you start whittling, be sure to have safety oh. glasses on. No, that worked. All right, I don't have much of a tip left <laughs> on this blade. So I'm just gonna get in here and just kind of go for it. The nose hole. Yep. Uh, uh. All right. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Took it all the way in and I got a pretty good nose hole now, which looks cool. All right. I think I'm gonna clean it up a little. Be right back. I'm right now just taking out the edges, so now it's no longer a square. I'm trying to make a circle, more like a face or a head. All right, I should have had this in the beginning, some sandpaper. And I finished my design. And I'm basically just sanding off some rough edges. So if we have more time, we would go from 80 grit to 120 to 220, but I'm skipping straight to 220. And just kind of smoothing it out. And then we also have, oh, we also have some colors that we can add to our design. So I'm gonna add a little Also bit. be sure to go ahead and shake it out, because when you're doing this, you get real tense and it's not good. Yeah, yeah keep your, uh, pretty, keep cold limber. pretty cold in here. Keep limber. Yeah, you wanna keep the blood flow to your fingers. How's yours going, dude? And, oh, I broke the marker. All right. Finishing up here. You want color in yours? Well, I didn't get very far with mine at all, Chris. Oh, really? So I'm gonna pick this one up later. This is something that, you know, it's one of these things that on a nice Saturday night, you can sit on your porch, you can <laughs> whittle a little wood. All right, so I got a nice little... No, it's not showing up. Oh, Go to camera three. Yeah. This one? Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> so we're both done with ours. Yeah, now, good. like I said, mine's a work in progress. I'm going to probably spend the next Saturday, couple Saturdays on the porch whittling some more wood to go ahead and finish Saturday, this. But I've got Saturday it started, nights. and it's a little smoother. As you can see, the shaft here is a little cleaner. I've got all the yeah. bumps and things off the shaft, and I'll probably Give start working on the kids. head next. Just kids can play around. You know, it's almost summertime. They can build little forts. and It's not safe stuff. to whittle wood around kids. Figures. Yeah. No, yeah, you don't want to whittle. I'm just saying you can play with the sticks later yeah. with kids. And that's how you whittle wood. That's how you whittle wood. Thanks for watching. Saturday night would not be spent whittling wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be out dancing or clubbing, but yeah. whatever. Maybe a Monday night?